<laughs> it is time. What's up, guys? It is Rob, and uh, I am back with a brand new video announcement, I guess. I've been hard at work uh, when it comes to my 31 days of horror in October reviews. And there's a certain thing that I wanted to do, I just didn't have enough time in my daily schedule. Uh, you know, I have kids uh, that stay home and do the e-learning stuff, so I'm, you know, you know, helping them with their schoolwork and, you know, working all that stuff. So, uh, I barely have any time to do things. When they are sleeping, that is the perfect time to do stuff. So, I'm finally finished with... Um, something that I've been wanting to do for the holiday season. You know, October is my favorite month of the year because of Halloween, all the scary movies that are playing on TV, and, you know, I'm a horror movie buff, so, you know, what better month to celebrate that? Um, but I have my own little horror corner, I guess you could say, and uh, I just put together a little display. This is where I'm going to be reviewing horror movies to you guys especially my 31 days of horror. Now, uh, just to fill in the gaps, I've been, you know, putting up different videos that I've already filmed in the first person and stuff just to start things off because I didn't have this done yet. So now that I finally have it done, I'm going to be continuing reviews. Uh, I believe I'm going to be starting with day eight and uh, going on from there. Now, that doesn't only mean my 31 days of horror. I'm also going to be doing other random uh, reviews right here as well. So, um, I have the door open, the wind's blowing. What a perfect time to have a little wind. All we need now is a storm. But um, anyway, yeah, put together a little little uh, area that has to do with, uh, you know, horror and Halloween. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, it's been a lot of fun to put together and um, yeah, just look forward to some awesome reviews, and uh, yeah, this is where I'm doing them. So, uh, before I go here, I want to show you kind of like a in-depth look at what I did. So, I'm just going to grab the camera here and give you a little, a little tour. I am uh, currently in my garage. I have a three car garage here and the third stall is basically a place where I have like you know my lawnmowers my snowblower and uh, things like that so I decided to uh, you know convert this into a space that I can actually utilize um, and that's what I did so I have some black you know um, these are actually black bed sheets that are, you know, they've never been used or anything like that, and they were cheap. So I just went ahead and got those and, you know, created the display with that. Um, so I had this huge, huge pumpkin that uh, we've had this ever since the 80s. <laughs> and, you know, my parents gave it to us. And it's kind of a tradition to light this thing up um, in the month of October. We usually have it outside, but... Um, you know, since things are kind of weird this year with the virus and all that stuff, uh, I wasn't sure if we were going to, <clears throat> you know, have trick-or-treating, which we actually are. But um, I decided to just put it in here. So it's it's pretty big, but it lights up really nice. I mean, you can see this thing far away. That's how that's how bright it is. So on the top shelf here, I have the <laughs> Jason, uh, well, Roy mask. Um, from Friday the 13th Part 5, New Beginning, from NECA. Uh, I have it on display here. <clears throat> here is the uh, Tall Man's Ball that I got in that Phantasm set. In the back, I got some spider webs and spiders, uh, the flickering light, Freddy's glove right there, the uh, Halloween 2018 Trick or Treat Studios mask, over here, of course, I cannot forget Freddy. I got my life-size Freddy standee right there. I got some orange Halloween lights just to make it more, you know, decorative. Here is my custom 
um, not very good. It's not very good actually, <laughs> but it's uh, the mask was actually in pretty bad shape and I just tried to you know customize it a little bit Myers mask there I got the Hellraiser 3 mask the pinhead mask there and then over here is a knockoff Michael Myers mask uh, from the 2018 movie so it's not officially movie licensed but it's just a cheap yeah like a cheap knockoff um, down here I have the Pennywise shirt aren't you gonna say hello um, I thought that'd be kind of cool to display I got some Pennywise action going and then on these uh, pedestals here I have a couple of cool masks where you can actually move their their uh, mouth uh, you can actually open the mouth there it's kind of like a goblin and then I have like a, a clown goblin almost <laughs> looks pretty badass um, Pretty badass masks. Uh, so, yeah, you know, <clears throat> I got a little bit of everything. You know, Pennywise, Michael Myers, Pinhead, Phantasm, Jason, Freddy. I just, I got a bunch of stuff here. So, that is my little display. And, like I said, I'm going to be reviewing <clears throat> my horror movies right here. And yeah, so it should be pretty awesome. Hope you guys enjoy this. This is Rob signing off, and I'll see you guys in the next one.